Atris. In today's video, we will learn how to deploy three tier application on an EC2 instance. So let's say we are taking one application which is React.js as a front end, Superbase as a database, and the Node.js as a back end. So how many way you can deploy your website on an EC2 instance? There are six ways I mentioned in this series. So one by one video, I will uncover this all the ways to deploy your application on an EC2 instance. So first thing is basically how you can manually deploy your application on EC2 instance. So let's start. So this is our application which I deployed. Here you can see a daily activity tracker, which is nothing but it will track your daily activities like the study, your health, your education, whatever you want to do, you just add those things here and then you can see. For example, this one, log activity. So I added one activity like Docker video. I will create a Docker video. So it's regarding my work. Okay. After that, the duration is uh, BB Mandlo 40 minutes. So I'll add the minutes as a 40 minutes and the date is 31st August and done. Save the activity. Okay. Activity logged in. Done. Okay. Here you can see your activities. I added these activities for my practice. So here we can see Docker video for the work 40 minutes, then 31st August and even I can edit it. Okay. So this is the three tier ap application where we can add it, where we can delete. That means complete CRUD operations. So this is regarding the activities. Now let's see view analysis. There is another thing. This is regarding view analysis. Okay. We already uh, got this point. Now the analysis thing, view activities, we already checked it. So here we can see a uh, total time uh, what we spend on the activity. For example, personal thing I did 30%, then the study related only 10%, <laughs> then the health related 30% and the work related 40%. Nice. I'm good going. Okay. So about this thing and then the login and sign up. So as you can see, I already logged in. Okay. If I wanted to log out, I also can do the log out. Now I am log out. If I will click on the log activity, I want to add an activity. It will ask me for the login page. So these things I have in my website and I deployed it on this server. Okay. So this is one of the server EC2 instance where I deployed. Okay. So let's do this. So let me go to the notion page. Okay. So here we do with the basic manual deployment, click on the basic manual deployment. So let me tell you what is the three tier architecture first, if you don't know. See, three tier architecture means there are three layers. One is for the presentation layers. Another one is for the application layer, which is the middle one. And third one is the data layer. Okay. So presentation layer, what does it mean like presentation layer? So whenever you are interacting with your website, now for example, you just open your web browser and you click on any website, okay, for the Amazon or the Flipkart or any application you just open for um, buy something. So that is what the presentation layer. And the second one is the application layer. So what does this mean like application layer? Kya hota hai? So see, application layer, uh, which like you can say, web server okay web server or application server okay so what is the application tier so application layer is the middle layer where the actual logic or the business uh, logic is there okay whatever happened with the web servers are there application servers are there api is there whenever you call something from your front end like you uh, selected one product from the flip card you just click on that card button and whatever happened now outside okay after that thing which is the application layer and after the application layer what layer comes like this data layer will come so inside the data layer everything related to data like sql database mongodb is there uh, like a lot of database are there so you can use any of the database this is all our idea regarding this three tier first is presentation layer second one is the application layer Third one is the data layer. Okay. So presentation means whatever you see, that is what the presentation layer. Application layer means there are server, there are APIs related to this business logic, what the actual backend code is there. And the third one is the data layer. Data layer means your database is there, everything related to data is there. That's it. Okay. So now let's create an EC2 instance and let's deploy this website, same website. So this is our instances. If you don't know how to create this EC2 instance, then check this video first. Okay, then launch instance. I'll give the instance name as the Yatri Cloud. Okay. Now I'll select the Ubuntu. 
then I'll select this free tier eligible then I'll select this instance type as the medium okay it's a three tier application so t2 medium then the key pair as a yatri key okay then I'll allow the HTTPS and HTTP both connections and apart from that what I'll need to do is just click on this launch instance I have to launch my instance simple now so after launching my instance let me log into that instance here you can see Yatri Cloud instance is there it's in a pending uh, section so let's first refresh this button okay so what we have to do we have to copy this IPv4 address let's go to our VS code fastly okay now here in the SSH click on SSH connect to the host then configure the SSH host and this path is my SSH config file path okay and now what we will do we'll just add this section okay already added I just need to paste my IP address here so I pasted my IP address I pasted this IP address the host name and already Yatri key is on the right path no need to do anything so now let's see our instance is running or not yeah see instance state is on a running state so let's let's just refresh this one okay done now what I need to do SSH connect to the host then what is the IP 43 right 43 now let me check once ha huh, 43 okay 43 click on the 43 it will open what it will say are you sure you want to continue of course of course we want to continue okay so it will downloading the vs code server and all and all whatever whatever okay now done okay we got it now what we need to do we have to open the folder it's an ubuntu this is our main location where we have code we are putting our code so okay now trust this thing then later fine control minus it's too big okay so now we have to open the terminal terminal we are here now open this terminal as much as big we can <laughs> okay okay fine now what we need to do first we need is this repository right so this is our repository yatri cloud daily activity tracker application which is public you can use this code first we have to copy this code so this one copied it's a public so you can clone it get clone and then paste url see it's cloning the application and clone is done now do the ls yeah we have the application change directory daily application this one then ls again yeah so we got our code but the main thing this is 3 tier application so we need dot env2 okay this is our dot env with no nothing like uh, the main key and uh, secret key so what we need to do ls hyphen la which will showcase us our env file okay now we need to cat this file okay so i'll add this file using vi vi dot env this is our env file oh then now we have to add our next public uh, uri from the superbase url so let's go to the superbase this is our superbase and now here project setting project setting here we have to copy this project id i copied the project id so now i have to paste this id i'll click on i in short mode then i'll go to here and then i'll paste this it will be done you have to paste this id before that you have to add the https then your id and then superbase.com then the public superbase key okay let me go to here see guys for api key you have to go to this api key section then the copy this public api key go back and control v done now for in short mode you have to do escape then colon wq enter done now we'll see this uh, file cad.env whether it is successfully done or not yeah you can see it's successfully done 
now what we have to do we have to run this application right so what you can do to run this application go to our website again so here is our application okay done now scroll down so this is all the things a front end back end database yeah we did the git clone we did this 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 now npm install okay fine first i clear the screen clear now i'll do the npm install oh npm is not there okay we have to install it okay so how we can install open the next tab install node.js then okay see download node.js on ubuntu more.js it's not more.js it's node.js on ubuntu this one okay so open this link here we have to select not mac os it's linux linux then nvm then npm done 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 now copy this to clipboard i copied now again go to this one paste done let's see mm, it will take some time okay now how we can check it is installed or not node hyphen v done next thing you need to check is npm hyphen v done now what we can do clear the screen clear now npm install this is the command right npm install done let's see it will take some time next thing what we have to do from here after doing npm install yeah yeah we done this thing right okay then npm run dev done after that we have to run npm run dev done okay done cool so this is our application we have created node modules now npm run dev done let's see okay open in a browser of course why not mm -hmm. okay 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 our website is live but see it's on a local host so what we have to do is we have to go to this ec2 instance then copy this ip then paste this ip okay enter let's see huh so far you can't open this page okay got it what is the error you know i know let me tell you because our application run on 3000 port so what we have to do we have to enable this 3000 port so go to the security okay inbound rule this is our security group so click on the security group okay done now edit the inbound rules in the inbound rule add rule we have to add the 3000 port so 3000 then and from here from everywhere we are listening to this port so 3000 and then we have to save the rule done now let's see what will happen this is our page right we did it on a 3000 port just review this www this is not required okay now we'll do comma 3000 let's see jay shri krishna ah done so we deployed our application let's see uh, how it works let first do this login okay so i'll enter my login id okay okay i'll add my password okay oi oi one minute enter then then login is done already now we'll see the log activities okay what we can do anything we can add it here okay we'll see the view activities done and see our activities are there already if i want to add it now i can do add it so it's like complete application crud application is already there we can create anything like for example we just created right then we can delete also then for the read we are also reading and for the update we can also update this thing like youtube video on the docker let's say i'll do docker video docker full video complete video is great thing, okay complete video okay now i'll save this one see it's already saved fine so this is regarding complete application deployment on ec2 instance in a manual way next time we'll do it with the proxy thing with um, pm2 
okay so stay tuned for the next video and of course follow me 